I'm Bo Clark. And I'm Stassi Schroeder Clark. And, and uh, this is the good, the bad, the, the baby. baby. Does that mean that I'm the bad because you're the good and yes. we're having a baby? I feel like that's a really good statement. This is a parenting family centric podcast. It's family centric, but we will be using like curse words. And it's not like advice. Like we're not, we have no fucking idea what we're doing. No clue. So we're not going to hold back. We're going to be extremely unfiltered. Um, try not to judge. I'd like this to be like a mom shaming free zone. So let's get started. Welcome to the good, the bad, the baby. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome to the show. What if that's how we start? You know, I've been trying to think of like, um, I feel like I need a new intro Intro for Straight Up with Stassi because Dracarys bitches just feels so old me. Like while I love Game of Thrones still and like, thank you for like House of the Dragon and all that stuff. I don't really like talk like that. I'm not like, hey, betchas. Like, I don't really talk like that yeah, you're anymore. Not, you're not the mean girl anymore. No, like I still have like a streak of uh, nastiness in me, you know, like yeah. there, there'll always be something there, but it's not, it's, it's not, there's like, a, like it's a you small don't sound percentage. Like you're holding your nose anymore and talking up, up here. It just feels like, listen, there's been a transition since 2020, you know, since uh, Vanderpump Rules for me was no more, since I gave birth, since everything that's gone down over the last three years. and But honestly, it really is like becoming a fucking mom. You kind of, you just change. You just, you do. Mm -hmm. And Dracar's bitches doesn't feel like who I am now. And I've been trying, especially since we're right, you know, I'm writing my um set and I'm writing the tour and all that stuff. And I'm like, how do I want to come on stage? Because Dracar's bitches doesn't feel like the move. What can I say? Good evening, bitches. <laughs> no, like, not bitches. Uh, I'm done calling people bitches. Like, it's fun every now and then, but like, not to like every episode to like open with the word bitches. Um, yeah, that's good really, evening. really good. Could you imagine? <laughs> Hold on. Could you imagine if I have... Every, every well, all you do is keep talking about like, I'm a mom now. No. I'm a mom now. Okay, that's mean. I know, I'm kidding. But I mean, in, like in a good way. It's like, so if you do like, it's like, I'm a mom. So it's like, can it, you come out and be like, how, like, darling, I don't know, like, lunch is ready. No, because I'm not, it, I'm not just a mom. No, I'm I know just, you're not. I know, I know. I'm, I'm just not one of those annoying people that's no, like, well, I'm a mom, so I can't do that. That drives me crazy. Oh my God, yeah. So like, that's kind of like what you were just. No, I was just being, I was being just playful. Okay. Um, well, no, I just mean that sometimes you outgrow things. Yeah. I outgrew Dracar's bitches. That felt good though, just now. <laughs> <laughs> but just maybe just say it like hey Dracarys bitches yeah maybe like, like I just like hey, what's up? I bring it down Dracarys a few bitches, like, like octaves yeah Dracarys bitches Dracarys bitches <laughs> it's like it's like bros it's like yo Dracarys bro Dracarys bitch yeah yeah all right well but still like if you have any <laughs> any I, we do polls <laughs> yeah I need a poll I need new ideas like I I love Taylor Streckers like hey girl hey is just so yeah, easy we got Hartford to say that the other day yeah Hey, uh, girl. Hey. hey. The um, I well, I feel like you, because you were so into Game of Thrones and that character, that's where you know I get it. So now you know you were into Bridgerton. You that um other like Bridgerton thing where the first season was lots of sex and the second one wasn't. What was it called? Bridgerton. Oh, is it called Bridgerton? <laughs> well, what am I thinking of? Sorry, I'm thinking of the um, Outlander. Out, no, Downton the other Abbey. one, Downton Abbey. Okay. Yeah. Um, why did you leave out the Medici? <laughs> why uh, you, when you were listing things that I love? Well, I why? I don't know. Like, would you like? That was a choice. <laughs> it's like, like, ciao, fun, fun or oh, you could be like, you <laughs> if I, if, like, if, like, before I got, ciao. Ciao. Like fanculo means like fuck you. Like so maybe there's like some like I can ask my sister like some like another term like ciao bitches or just say it <laughs> like that. <laughs> Dragons, I love. Um. All right. Well, you're no help. Well, yeah, I'm no help because it's you're you, no you help. want me to find like a like a slogan saying I know for, and that's for the thing. Stassi and these things have, Schroeder. They have to come naturally. Like Dracarys bitches wasn't planned. Yeah, I will never forget it. It was like with Christina Kelly, and we were. It was like my first year of doing this podcast. So like eight, 
years ago. Mm hmm. Eight years ago, eight years I've been saying Dracarys bitches, you know, but like it just happened because we were talking about Game of Thrones so much on the podcast and Khaleesi's just like happened. Like it wasn't like this thing where it's like, I'm going to name my listeners. I'm going to come up with what I'm going to (laughs) say in front of every podcast. Like it just happened and fit and it was natural. But there hasn't been anything like that since. Well, you need to find a slogan and also like a name for your minions. First of all, that's rude to call someone a minion. It's like minions. It's funny. Like minions. Kevin! Um, From Despicable no, Me. my listeners. Listeners. It's but they also but Minions just, I'm just thinking of like the Despicable Me and they're all like. <laughs> yeah, no, I see where you're at. But like, that's just like, that's, okay, and, and that's I, like you're looking I, down on people. No, I think it was, I thought it was funny. There's a negative connotation with the word minions. And I, and I especially feel, um, like mm, about this one okay. because during Vanderpump Rules, when I was on Vanderpump Rules, people would always just be like, "Oh, because you treat Katie and Kristen like your minions," and I just hate that people would oh, say that. that. So I just don't like that word. All right, well, that's then your then your cult. Yeah, you need to have for your cultists. Yeah, Is that a yeah, word, yeah, 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 yeah. Something having to do with a cult. But no, Khaleesi's are still fine. It's just Dracarys bitches that I'm trying to. Yeah. Anyway, you guys. A lot of lot of thought there. A lot of thought. Um, it's been a really chaotic day. It's a chaotic time that we're living in right now. Like, <laughs> no, but it is. Like, I didn't realize that that like by getting pregnant. Like, yeah, you think like, okay, we're gonna have to like move the closet and like get rid of a lot of things. But like, it's not that easy. Like it it really isn't. I have anxiety multiple times a day over getting things done in time. And like, how am I going to get rid of half my clothes and half my shoes in time? Then how am I going to move, like then get like a mini wardrobe built in our room in time for me to move everything out to then start the nursing? We're not going to be able to start. Oh my God. Don't. What did I say? I said, I said, Bo, when I have talks with you, I literally <laughs> this have is a said, podcast. We're allowed to talk to each other. No, and I'm, I've said, I need you to take all of my anxiety and worries very seriously. I okay, but this is also a podcast. I need so you to I, participate I will, in it. I will just I will just sit here and nod. No, I no, need you I'm to just, not make fun I'm, of my worries. But in, a, but in a sense, I'm this is also trying to tease out your worries because you do have a lot of time. You we do have a lot of time. But like when people say that. They they those people who say, but we have so much time are always the ones that end up waiting till the last minute. And I don't live like that. So basically, I am like the the hare and you are like the tortoise where I'm like, oh, I can we can I'm going to get to that finish line so quickly. I don't need to just hit it really quick. And you're just like, okay, well, no, I'm going to. No. No, does that make sense? That literally actually made the opposite of sense. Well, the turtle finished finished the 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 race. Right, but just the metaphor oh, didn't okay. fit for what, for what I'm right, talking well, you know, about I, right now. In my brain, it did. Like I am the hair. Yes. But like, if there was a different ending. Oh, okay, I got you. Like we need to like do this quickly. Constantly be doing things so that we can just like get everything done at a reasonable time, and we're not rushing at the last minute. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so like besides like besides like just the stress of of moving a closet, which is like a, it's a lot. And like, I need you to appreciate yeah. that. I need you to like be understanding of the fact that I'm going to be getting rid of half of the things that I own. I mean, that's yeah. Like, that's, why are you laughing? A, well, because I'm trying to be supportive and not have an opinion. <laughs> well, that means that your opinion is an unsupportive well, one. Well, my my opinion, <laughs> no, my opinion is just look. I'm 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 you know you're it's it is a lot. I'm just but it's also I feel like it's not that a lot because yes, you have a lot of things to get rid of. But then if you don't get rid of them in time, there is a storage unit that you could put them away to like get. No, no. Oh fuck, Bo. <laughs> I just realized that I have to pretty much just do everything on my own. Like, and just, and and I have to just like take care of my mental and emotional health on my own. I just for me, not understanding the the depth that it is to clean out. Correct. A, because I've sat closet you, room. Because I have sat you down multiple times on the verge of tears and said, this is very stressful for me. 
I'm yeah. stressed about this all the time. Not only is it a lot for me to, I'm actually going to cry. I like feel the water coming behind my eyeballs right now and I'm trying not to let it happen. But like, I've said this to you, like not only is it hard that like, I love my clothes. I love my shoes. I love the things that like I've collected over the years. And so not only is it hard for me to give half of that up, like it, it hurts while I'm happy to do it for my family. And I do I want um a child more? Fuck yeah. Like it's no question. Like, of course, but like it still doesn't mean that it's it doesn't sting and doesn't hurt to like get rid of all so much of my I wasn't things. talking about like emotional. I was just talking about like time wise. Like that's um, it's all of it. Okay. And so like on top of giving away, getting rid of of half of my things, then to not have like that cute room that was like the only thing that was like mine in this house. Like you have two things that are yours. You have the gentleman's library. Okay. And you have the garage. You have two places to go that are yours that you decorated exactly how you want them to where you feel comfortable. You store all of your things like that you love the most. Like I'm not going to have. I could literally. Anything. Go in and take off everything in the, in the guest room. That's not the point. But it's it is not the, the point. point. But it's not the point. But I'm just saying, if you would like that, because... No, because I want you to have that. I, I, I want I you have to the, have... Then I have the garage. No, Bo, that, that won't solve anything for me. I, like, I don't need to go put my chat skis down in like the fucking gentleman's library. That's like not going to make anything better. I'm just saying, like I am I'm giving up a lot... And I need you to be extra sensitive about it. Okay. I, that's all I'm asking. And I feel like I've sat you down and said this so many times and still like every conversation that we have about it, you, you're still not there. You're still not, you're still like just well, I'm, wanting I'm, to. I'm there now. I'm there now since, since, since. Yeah. I think that like you should just like tonight as you're going to bed, just like sit and really think about it. Ruminate over it. No, it's it, great. Cause now know? it's here. It's like, you know, we have it on camera. We have it on. <laughs> on audio <laughs> that I can always just awkwardly and, you know, and come back and listen to it and see my reaction about this and know, know where, where we're at. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> listen, we're, I didn't expect, yeah, to, I didn't expect to have like a serious talk during this podcast yes, episode. Nothing like a, but a this is reprimanding. <laughs> But this is what it is. We we vowed to be mm-hmm. transparent on the good, the bad, the baby. Oh, we did. Yes, and uh, yes. transparent is what it will be. Uh-huh. <laughs> and this is a real smile, everybody. Okay, so that is a lot. And then we you know we had a you guys. We've had people come. I I had asked everyone on my Instagram account. I was like, okay, this is what I want to build in our room. So it turns out it's called a built in. Lots of people DM me. They were like, it's a built-in. It's a built-in. It's a built-in. I'm like, all right, got it. A built-in. Because I was just calling it a wardrobe attached to a wall. It's a built-in. And so we're like, people gave me a lot of recommendations for things and and people and companies who could do this. And we have people coming in and measuring everything. And, and today was just so overwhelming because one of the companies came in and they're like, you have to move the lights in your ceiling. And I'm like, What? what do you mean? And then they're like, you also can't build over um, an electrical unit. So I'm like, what do you mean? Like, do I have to move the electrical unit? Like this is so, so just to like build a wardrobe, I have to like tear apart the ceiling and move lights. Like that just seems it's, it's a lot. And, and the floor. Well, the floor, they, I think they found a way to work around it, but like, it's going to be a, just a nice closet. And then it'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> like kind of. <laughs> it's like when people paint the street and they just don't really care. And they just go around. Yeah, something yeah. With the lines. Yeah. So like, there's just so much, there's always something new. And I, like, I just want to be able to just get rid of half my stuff so that I don't have to think about how I have to get rid of half my stuff anymore and get the closet, the built in in there so that I can just start this part of my life. Now I'm ready to rip the bandaid off. I want to rip, but it's like living in this limbo area where my closet is a fucking wreck because half of the things have already been like moved around and what I'm keeping, what am I not keeping? So I can't even enjoy my closet room anymore. We moved our bed finally. So like I had to get rid of, that's another thing I had to get rid of where I write. I had like, I had to get rid of my desk in my bedroom, which is where I write and work and do all my things. So yesterday 
when I went to go write, I was like, where do I go? I moved locations four times. First, I sat on the chair in our room. Then I was like, this kind of hurts my back. So then I sat on the floor. That ended up hurting my back more. Then I sat in our bed and it made me tired. So then I came down here to the podcast room and sat here with my computer. And I'm like, this is, the, I'm losing a lot of things in this house right now for this for this freaking baby. Like, damn. But I will say, silver lining, I do sleep better where we moved our bed. I did like that. But it's just, it's it's a lot. It's a lot all at once. I imagine this is how it's going to feel for Hartford when a baby comes and her world is kind of like turned upside down and she's like, what? But like, oh, the dogs are going to love it too. The dogs are going to be so <laughs> they're fucking gonna literally pissed. shit and piss all over the place. <laughs> they are going to oh, really? be. Really, you're going to have another one? Oh hell no! They're oh, going to be no. so mad. You guys, it is so sad. I Chaos. don't know that we've like talked about this that much, and. I, I don't know if I, it feels like no one else's dogs are like this. Like whenever I'm on Instagram or social media, it, everyone's like, look how much my dog loves my children, my babies. And and Bo and I, when I was pregnant with Hartford, we thought that's exactly what our dogs were going to be yeah. like. We thought that like. Especially when we saw refund, like all protective and we read what that means. We're like, oh my gosh, it's because Baluda well, didn't know anything, but refund like knew that yeah. you were pregnant. We're like, oh, she's going to come out and be the protector. Yeah, she's going to be such a guard dog. Yeah. Those dogs are so irritated by Hartford. They don't want anything to do with her. And Hartford is so loving and so obsessed with them. Hartford loves those she's dogs. She's so gentle. So everything with them. And they get, see, look, like I always get, I, like back in the day, they'd be, they'd always be like, are your dogs dead? Like, yeah, I know. People, keep DM, like, people DM right. me at that all the time. Why don't you post your dogs? Your poor dogs. First because, of all, no. First of all, my dogs don't fucking care if I'm posting them on Instagram. They don't know. They don't know. So <laughs> shut the fuck up. Anyone who's DM'd me that, like, my, wow, like ignoring your dogs. They don't give a fuck if I post Do them on Instagram. Do cares that I created an account for her and I haven't used it in over a year? No. Does not matter. <laughs> anyway, yeah. No, but they, you know, it's like you might see you you might see our dogs with Hartford, like maybe within like the last four or five months, because that is like one random time that the, they did not just move, like get, get away, move away any time that she is near. Yeah. Like Hartford's like that annoying kid who's just like really nice and just wants to be friends with everyone. And, and like she's got hands like that are like just covered in Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like you see like that child and you're like, oh, God, get Don't that. Or Anna me. Snot knows. Yeah. You no, know, Hartford tries so hard to be their best friend and, and tries so hard to play with them, cuddle them, anything. They'll let they'll be nice. But no, they're it's not that they're not nice. They just don't. They just like it's like they gross. move this. Yeah. They're like, ew, this baby, this kid again. And they like just move, move yeah. spots or to like they, get away she from sits her. Down next to them, like grief on a growl and Luda will growl. It's just like, you know what? They're so annoying. I don't get it. I, it's I don't so get it. Like, fucked up and sad. Except that they love to come into our nursery and like hang out when we're all hanging out. Because they want to hang out with us. Right. But they have zero. They give zero Fs about Hartford. And it's so sad because really if they just like licked her without us going like, you know, to, have I rubbed a treat on Hartford's neck? Yes, I have. So they would just be able to like come up a little <laughs> bit and give her a little kiss on the neck. I've done that just for my daughter so she can experience the like the because when refund and luna come up to my face they're all kisses and kisses and then reef or uh, harford's like kiss kiss and i'm like no come on kiss her kiss her rarely ever happens so yeah i've got i've gotten a little you know bacon bit rubbed it on just a little right there <laughs> <laughs> so they'll come up to harford oh and my give gosh. her some love you know, they're yeah gonna so be, this new child they're gonna be God. so pissed with this new kid they're they're gonna be like again Again? Really? We're doing this again? I poop on you. <laughs> I poop in your floor, on your toys. I pee where you don't know I'm going to pee. They've been doing that recently, oh, too. Oh, yeah, because I'm sitting there hanging out the, in the play area, and I'm like, <laughs> something stings my nose. Where is it? Do you think they're doing that because refund senses I'm pregnant or because it's just been raining? Um, I think both because it's like, you guys are jerks. I take you out. You won't pee. The minute I turn my back, you pee, you poo because of the rain. 
but what? I forgot that we have an announcement a little a little one. People won't really care, but I care. Speaking of pee. Oh, I thought we did that last week. No, this was a Friday. This is Friday night. She peed in the potty. Hartford peed in the potty. <laughs> you guys. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh my God. I don't think I even told no, you. No, you didn't. You guys. Oh my God. We'll get back to the chaos. We'll get back to this. We'll get back to it. Let me just say, Friday night. We, se- we started celebrating Bert- Bo's birthday. Yeah, let's talk about your birthday a little, then I'll circle back to chaos. Kay? No, we're already at the pee-pee. Let's just stick on urine. <laughs> let's no, just stay with the but, urine. No, I know. No, you're in it, so go on. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> go, please. Let's, let's. So Friday night, Bo's birthday was Saturday. We started celebrating his birthday Friday night because he went to he was out all day long. And so I'm like, okay, like I can have balloons ready, some tequila, ice cream cake, since Carvel ice cream cake is his favorite. Um, it'll just be like a nice thing for him to like come home to. And it was so nice. Hartford was in the best mood. Like when he walked in the door, like she was just such an easy kid that whole entire night. We ordered sushi, just had like a lovely like at home little celebration yeah. just us three and after and dinner I didn't know that it was a surprise which was lovely yeah and after dinner i was like hartford mommy has to go pee pee in the potty i have to go pee do you want to come with me because that's what i normally do so that she watches me and eventually i'm hoping that it'll rub off on her and it did so i go into the bathroom she follows me in and we have her little mini potty there too And I sit down and I go pee and she starts taking off her diaper. And I'm just so used to her not actually going pee pee in the potty and not delivering that I was like, no, please don't take off your diaper. Like we literally just put it on Harford. No. And she literally looked at me like she does the defiant thing. I'll just look into the camera because she did her thing and she goes and rips it. And then I was like, seriously, Harford. And then she puts it back while still making eye contact and like to put like put yeah, but the you're, diaper you're back. also screaming no to at some point because at some point I'm just here in your bathroom no, but that yeah, yeah 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 okay and so then she's like going to do it again and I'm like really and she does the defiant again stares at me and then takes off her whole entire diaper and just rips it off and she does you know she does that face uh-huh like she's like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do about it and then she sits on the potty and I'm like fine and she's still staring at me making eye contact and all of a sudden I hear a trickle and I'm like no 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 way, no way, no way. And I started screaming your name. And I was like, Bo, oh my God, Bo, get in here. And Harford's like, Bo. It's like <laughs> Harford screams Bo and I scream Bo. And sure enough, a full thing. Puddle. Of pee. I couldn't believe it. I. We didn't give it a photo. Fo- we should have got a photo of it. To I be know. Honest. I didn't I, even take a photo of the pee pee. I think actually, you know what? I think I have a video. I don't know. I remember creeping in there. Because I thought you were saying no, or I can never tell if you're screaming no or both. So it's just, I just always run. So if Hartford's <laughs> in trouble or doing something bad, I'm still running in like I'm in trouble. So, but it wasn't me. It was an amazing gift that she gave us. It was pee. Pee pee in the potty. I, I didn't realize that I'd be so excited by that. It like that, it was shocker. a rush of like, wow, that was so satisfying to like, yeah. She hasn't done it since. Well, it's, I think we need to, that's the thing. Once it warms up a little bit, let her walk around in her, her pull-ups. In her, yeah. Diaper. It, yeah, totally. I think that's, that's I think what she, if she can do that, she can do it anytime. Yeah. No. And also make your poopies. Make the poopies. Poopy princess. Poopy in the potty. <laughs> Jesus. That's what I say to her. Yeah. Also, another announcement. She got into her school. We did it, guys. We we made it. We did it. We yes. I feel like there would be a lot more excitement. There should be a lot more excitement from us. Um, I think we'll we've just, had we've had days. Yeah. To process it, yeah. like that whole day that like we, we found out it. we were, and then well, yeah, yeah, when we missed, yeah, we talked about yeah. this last mm-hmm. week. We missed our Zoom, but then we were able to reschedule one, and but yeah, she was accepted, and like, cool. That <laughs> is what's up. Like, I'm just so excited. So basically. Now our future child that's that I'm pregnant with, he he's also gonna like go to that school. So we don't really have to do this for like a long time. Like this was one of the things that we were so scared of, like touring schools, all that. Like this preschool goes into 
elementary school. Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. And your kid, like your second kid just automatically kind of gets like, like in there. Yeah. I think. <laughs> don't, no. don't. Yeah. So it's great. But we don't have to like register for him now kind of thing. No. Like everyone told us to do with Hartford. Listen, they loved us, but more importantly, I know we why we got them. in. No, we loved them, but I know why we got in. Because we are fun. We are awesome parents. <sighs> nope. And we have, be- oh, it's because your highlights of yeah. Hartford on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Hartford highlight reel. Uh, my highlights. I, I know it is. Like, you cannot deny the cuteness. Like, they, I know that they had to click on it and you see one video of Hartford and you just want to be around her. So they were like, even if they didn't like us, they're just like, but I just want to be around that little kid. Like, yeah. we have to accept her. Like, we want to be around that little kid. She's so cute. We want her to just stare at us and tell us all about owls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's your name? Hi. Uh, what's your name? Her name's Hartford. Hi, Hartford. How are you? Owls. It's <laughs> owl. Yeah. Owl. Owls. Owls. So your birthday, you had a good weekend. I feel like you ended up having a really good birthday. I did have a good birthday. It was it was good to like go back to the office and they knew it was my birthday. Well, it was like we there was three, there was three of us that had those weekends birthdays. So it was like Friday, didn't know they were gonna bring a cake out for me and for the other one. So it was just like I was like, well, this was a huge, great surprise. It was just like really nice to like celebrate at the office and then you to feel appreciated. To feel appreciated. You know, and then um, coming back home and then more surprises with you in Hartford. And then I got just, you a Lego for your birthday. You got me the the the, the Trevi Fountain. The Lego. Trevi Fountain Lego. They don't even make Fun. anymore. You probably had to buy that on I've, I've eBay. I researched that. I got that on eBay. I'm got glad you didn't eBay. give me the Leaning Tower of Pisa because that one was always like boring. I don't know because I had wanted to get something from Rome well, and was, the Coliseum was like $600 or something. And I'm like, I'm not worth it. So I'm only worth $79.99 on eBay. You know, it's just like we're moving this closet and doing all this stuff and it's expensive and we have a nursery to pay for. Oh, well, I love all the jackets that came in today for you. They're from H&M. Oh, yeah, but there's 20. There's three. 20 and times H&M. three plus. <laughs> yeah, but what about last week? <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I was very thankful for my, my fountain Lego because it was very fun to build. Hartford got you something. She got me a Vans certificate. Gift certificate. Gift certificate. I'm going to go Ooh. buy the same pair of shoes <laughs> that <I> just newer. <laughs> yeah. And I just did, and I did nothing. And then, and then ended up doing something. We went over to my buddy Jay's restaurant. Well, you skipped a lot of what? shit. What did I do? What did I skip? I you, chilled you out. You skipped your whole day. What was it, on Friday? Yeah, you literally just, no, Saturday. You just, what did we do? You just started with 10 o'clock at night on Saturday. Yeah, what happened? Your, your birthday, so we celebrated Friday just as a family. Oh, then we went to dance class? And then class. the next day, you, went really, you still wanted to go to Hartford's dance of class. Course. So we went to dance class. She was fine. I put her down for a nap very easily. It's like she knew that it was your birthday. Mm-hmm. But then during her nap she was only like down for like 15 or 20 minutes all of a sudden i hear poo 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 and i'm like oh fuck. i didn't hear that. see i i wouldn't know this i was i was i was paying attention because oh, okay. it was your birthday so oh, okay. i had the baby monitor you didn't have it so i went downstairs and i'm like okay i'm gonna have to change her diaper and i like doubt that she's gonna want to go back to bed but i'm gonna try then i walked in she didn't poo poo but she had taken off her sleep sack her pants and her diaper and had decided oh, to just pee I remember peed everywhere. All so. on the crib. Yes. So all yes. of her blankies, her crib mattress, everything. You know what? I feel like was the reason wet. why I I just went straight to ten o'clock is because <laughs> when I want to think back on my forty third year old birthday, I just you know, I wanna just have a nice moment, not me. All right, pulling off the sheets, pulling out the bed, taking off everything, searching the instructions on how. Thank God that bed is not what I thought it was. That mattress is like super cool and like futuristic on the inside. I thought it was going to be like foam. What is that mattress called? I highly recommend it for um, Newsome baby, what baby, Newton, Newton, Newton baby, Newton. I don't know, but it was like type in Newton mattress because I do what like when people ask like. What mattress do you use for Hartford? The outside is like, there's like one side that's breathable for a newborn. The other side the is... the Newton mattress. Yeah. The it's other side fantastic. is like waterproof for, to- for older toddlers. 
And thank God we had on the toddler. But when I zipped it open, I thought it was going to be like, you know, like the Tempur-Pedic foam thing. And it's like this weird, soft, hardish webbing thing that it's, it's almost like plastic. It you looks could hose like it, it belongs down. in the upside down. Yeah, it really does. Or if you like looked at one of your blood cells and yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, under high, a high, like, like, it's like some weird, <gasps> creepy looking yeah, yeah. thing. And it, so I was like, oh, this is great. And then I, we, you know, we washed some clothes. Well, no, cause then it was like, some, then there what? was no, there was no chance in hell of Hartford oh, going no, down because she, was, she couldn't sleep in her mattress she was up, yeah. and she doesn't sleep. She's one of those kids that we've trained to like, we've, we've been very regimented. Like that's as parents, we've always been that way. Like she doesn't just like nap wherever or fall asleep, like on the couch or fall asleep in the bed with us. Like it's, it's always just been crib in and her I feel crib like and the he, new one we're going to be doing like the um your tiktok mom who's like who makes fun of americans and tells you how the europeans do it where they just kind of bring out the kid and they can nap anywhere oh she doesn't make fun of well, I, mean, I mean she kind of does and i don't even know who that, that's just a random tiktok i saw oh i thought you sent me a bunch of them anyway like the european way where it's like you know you guys plan to do stuff we bring our kids everywhere and you know they just nap whenever they want to um, no, nope. I feel We're like going, going back to structured. Never mind. I, I feel like we did such a great job with Hartford well, I, and it I worked did. for us. Yeah. But I'm just saying it's like, then we can, we, I don't know. I just really like those TikToks where it's like, oh, that is very nice where you can just go out and the child will sleep when they want to sleep. Totally. <sighs> I know. You know what I mean? mean? It's we like, could we could experiment, go to the, we we could could go to the beach and we all could day try. and when they want to sleep, they're going to go to sleep. Well, we did do that with Hartford a little bit. like A little bit. But yeah, like when she much. was a baby. But now it's like, oh, we can't get down there because it takes, you know, an hour and a half to get down. Because to the, listen, right. because now she's older and she's and she's very much like reliant on on her routine. But when yeah. she was a baby, because they nap a million times a day, we would go on day trips places mm-hmm. and we would she would nap yeah. in the car nap in her stroller you would have to go one of oh, us yeah. would take turns strolling her around like we did yeah. all of that so like we weren't like chained and shackled to this house but for the <laughs> most part like we are structured and we have a routine and i think kids like routine i think that they thrive in having a routine when i see a lot of the kids that don't have that like I don't know. I feel like they could use it <laughs> like I do. But so because of that, there was no way Hartford was going to go back down for a nap. So she stayed up with us. Rob came over. We moved our bed. Oh, yes. Another reason why I'm and got rid of my desk. everything that happened before 10, 10 p.m. But it was fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. When we were moving everything and then I was vacuuming out all of the stuff. And then <laughs> Rob fun. and I like lifted up your desk, took it all the way upstairs and then wrote t- uh, free and then had to re- and just put everything back together. And then take out the the window, the mirror, and then make sure it's not scratching the walls, and yeah. and then redoing the, all the electronics in a different way. I mean, I know wow. I had a great time. I did too. It's <laughs> so much fun. So after we did that, um, Katie came over too, and we were like, "All right, where should we go? Let's go to the Americana, which is like the Grove, but in Glendale." And uh, oh, we I forgot about that. We yeah. went, yeah. We went to the Americana and we walked around for a while with Hartford and then went to dinner at the um, Amici. The place that I'll never go to on Saturday night ever again. Oh, he, it's wow. Only, it's only a lunchtime place, I realize. I had a great time on your birthday. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, I think that the normally the food was good. I think they were just, if something happened where... I did not get my good birthday. Meal. Well, it's not like real. It's not like authentic Italian food. No, it's American Italian food. And it's just fun because the Grove and the Americana gives like adult Disney vibes. You know, it's like Main yeah. Street on and Disneyland. It's, the Americana is nicer in a sense because it's got the bigger park area. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we we went there. Yeah. And that was fun. And it was fun having both Katie and Rob together mm-hmm. because since Rob's moved to Austin, we haven't really like had... All of us together with Hartford. No godparents together at yeah. the same time. So that was really fun. And then we came back home and you and Rob went out and celebrated your birthday. And you can talk about that. And before you talk about your birthday, I had a great night after you guys left. I went downstairs and I made the bed and I was like, oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm going to like get to like, it's like being in a hotel because the setup is so different. The feng shui, like everything's different. And I'm like, what do I want to do? Do I want to watch an episode of you or do I want to go on TikTok? And I was like, I know what I want to do. I've been wanting to retake the Hogwarts sorting test 
like the house sorting test for a while now. And you were still a Hufflepuff. No, I've never been a Hufflepuff. I know. I just, but see, I hate God, when you say that. I know, but see how just the, it's it's it's, under your see, skin. at least I, at least I did. <laughs> it's like just a little bit of revenge. How I just know how to. Did you just think you'd be a Slytherin? Work, uh, this well, so I, I was saying because both Rob and Katie are Slytherin. Clearly. And it, well, I they have both, always thought both brooding. I a raving class. I through. always thought that I'd be Slytherin. And went back in the day, whenever I used to take these tests, I would try and get Slytherin. I never got Slytherin. I've always gotten Ravenclaw. I could literally just fake it and get Slytherin in a second. It's no, just, you have I've this tried. Think, think like a Malfoy, Stassi. Think like a Malfoy. But I also have there. to make it make sense for me too. Yes, but you are lying. Like I don't want to lie. lie. Well, that's the point. So I can't lie. Claw. Okay. So <laughs> I just thought, I'm like, you know what? Like I, th- the way I started off this podcast, I was like, I just feel kind of different. I've outgrown so much in my life, like Tricaris bitches, that maybe I have outgrown being a Ravenclaw and, and I I've am something evil. else. <laughs> I've become And even. I told Rob and Katie this while you were putting Harford down. And they were like, Katie was like, bitch, you've gotten so much softer. You're going to come out of Hufflepuff. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, if I retake this oh test and it turns out I'm a fucking Hufflepuff, I won't tell a soul. I literally won't tell. No offense to the Hufflepuffs out no there. No offense, because the Taylors are Hufflepuffs. Alex is a Hufflepuff. All my favorite people in the world are Hufflepuffs like I oh, love but like my god that just, would have been just <laughs> it's not freaking it's not the house I want to be in so I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and I took the test I like t- got tugged in bed in the new position of our bed and I like got the computer I used the email address from dark to Clark remember that used to be our wedding <laughs> yes. email address and, like we don't use it so like if anyone sends me like any mail like I won't <laughs> check it I don't I don't have it like attached to my things anymore Nothing. and And I took the test so seriously. Like I took my fucking time and really thought about every question. And sure enough, it was Ravenclaw again. And then I was like, okay, guess, you know, I am who I am. I'm consistent and uh, I'm just going to lean in now. I am a Ravenclaw and I'm never going to take that test again. Like I know Hartford is with, you know, with her father and, you know, the Gryffindor wing of, of but act. I'm I think yeah. she will be Gryffindor but I'm thinking maybe the new one will be like you know Harry Potter and the cursed child where the boy the new son will be a Slytherin since I'm you know very closer to Harry and in that area that's not a I, so when we do the crawl test again well let me tell you that actually kind of makes sense because I was looking up Virgo boys and I am fucking obsessed with everything that I read, I screenshot some things. Did you go to like multiple sites or just, did you just stick to one? Um, I, I think I did just one. I would <laughs> anyway, just, I mean, why don't it you says, give it a some Virgo man qualifying. <laughs> listen, listen, a Virgo man is very hardworking, intelligent, and adventurous. Virgo man traits include rational thinking, problem solving, and somewhat being adventurous. What does that mean? Somewhat being adventurous. They're so organized and like can be so anal that maybe they're not always adventurous. Or maybe it's like, I God, going down to Santa Monica. Listen. That's about as much adventure that I get, but going to Malibu, that's a Totally yeah, different. that's what it is. They are very calculative, yet somehow follow their heart in different scenarios. They have very strong intuitive skills and thus can find deceitful people easily. Wait, what does the Virgo mean? man is he's practical, observant, and helpful. Perfection, dependability, and honesty are some of the basic characteristics of men born under this zodiac sign. They're not easy. These men are not easy to decode and can prove to be a worthy challenge for those who prefer the road well, less that, traveled. That's, that's that's great for that man. I I need to see where the Virgo um toddler information is because <laughs> I give zero f's about what that <laughs> is man. because I'm not. I, that's too far in the future. I mean that his girlfriend or boyfriend can can read that later down the road. All I want to know is how is this this thing trustworthy honest you know how like hartford lies about sometimes when she's gone poo poo or not this kid won't (laughs) (laughs) he tells the truth he tells the fucking truth and he's dependable he's so okay and he's helpful okay intelligent Mm. i mean i'm just into like this sounds like my dream man he might lie about (laughs) poo poo I just want to know, like, give me, give me, give me the, the, you know, there's all these star signs. It's like, well, how were they when they were a baby? 
how were they when they were? I'll toddler? look that up. I'll look that up later for you. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'll do tonight as I'm going important. to bed. That's what's important. That and how to deal with that that freaking fire hose that we're about to experience. And shouldn't you be the one who's like ready for that? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've had it your whole life. I yeah, know. and I just and and it's like there. This thing is is like it's it's a loose cannon. It could go off at any time. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. You guys, I would drink my baby's pee-pee. I mean, it's so, it's like the only thing that this baby has in its system is formula or breast milk. Like that, that pee-pee is pretty sterile. I mean, yeah, that's, I understand that until we get to the food and that's, that's fine. But still it's like at some point, and I've heard every person that I know that has had a son says that PBTP is a waste of money. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. By the time he has food, I don't think he'll be peeing on you. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. I hope not. <laughs> or it's not even just me, like the walls. Yeah. You know what the I mean? Dog. Like I start pulling everything out. It's like everything down, saturated dogs. Yeah. Right. But it'll be way easier to wipe his booty. True. Because you don't have to worry about it getting in the vag. True. But true. You have true. to wipe around the balls. So just another complication i don't know that doesn't sound very complicated that sounds pretty easy <laughs> i'm just <laughs> yeah, i'm just like these are, I, I need it great i gotta go buy books i'm gonna go to like the, the library this time instead of buying books that i'll read for like two months and then they'll collect dust i feel I, like at this point in time in like 2023 it's probably more expensive to like get in the car get gas drive to the library <laughs> rent the library book then get back in the car than it is to just fucking amazon prime <laughs> <laughs> i'm not joking <laughs> it's, it's better for the environment if you don't drive <laughs> <laughs> <I> literally <laughs> Anyway, God, we are lazy. Yeah. So while you were having the time of your life for your birthday, which I want you to go on over, um, I was just figuring out that I was Ravenclaw and went to sleep and like slept so well that night. So how was your night for your birthday? Um, I should have just stayed home. I had fun, but it's like, what? Well, Why are you such a can curmudgeon? I finish? I'm not a curmudgeon. Stop saying that to me. You always say that, that I don't even like that, that word curmudgeon. It's like, what, what year did that come in from? It just, it's so curmudgeon. specific. Like it explains exactly what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying I haven't gone out that late, that far in a very long time. And the next day hurted. But <laughs> you said I you had... weren't hung over the next day. You lied. I, yes, I lied. Because you know who's I had not going to gonna lie? What? My son. Great. <laughs> Because I, I want, uh, because if, if I was, if I was dragging butt, you know, watching Hartford or just anything, I didn't want you to have an excuse to be like, mm, you're hungover. I wanted to be like, no, I'm just old. No, you literally <laughs> though lied to me. Cause I was like, how are you feeling? Are you hungover? And you were like, no, I just had beer last night. Well, I did have beer last night, but I was still exhausted because I got home at two 30. I don't know. It was just, it, it felt, it was just, my body was dead the next day, but I did have fun. Did a little karaoke with some old friends and wait, you got to tell everyone about your karaoke experience. I was just about to. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you tell them? Sorry. Why don't you tell them? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, please. No, sorry. Well, I thought it would be cute if, um, because everyone's like, what are you going to sing? And I normally sing like bust a move or like still rock and roll to me or Chantilly lace. Those are like, kind of like, you know my... that, like, I don't know this about you. What? Uh, those are like my three songs that I kind of like. What's Chantilly know. Lace? Had a pretty face and a ponytail hanging down the wiggle and a walk. Jig- no. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah, um, Fats Domino? What's you really sing that? Yes. How come I've never heard you sing it? Because you don't ever go to karaoke with me. I don't like karaoke. I don't I never go there. Wait, what's the other ones you say that you bust a move and what else? And uh, Still Rock and Roll to Me by Billy Joel. You really do that? You really go yes. to these places where they have karaoke machines I don't just and you go sing there. them? I don't just go there to sing these songs. I go there to hang out with my friends and then sometimes I'll get enough courage or drink enough courage to get up there and do it. Can I ask you something? Yes. As a karaoke enthusiast, I feel like you would maybe have an answer to this. If, if you had to guess, like I don't have one, okay? But like if you looked at, by looking at me, what would you think my karaoke song would be? Now, don't think about. It. I want you to think about it. Don't just you want me like to think about it. Well, I no. want you to think about it. You would you would think that like what the first thing would come into my head would be, but I nothing came in because I don't know. 
This is, I mean, I might have to come back on the next episode because to be honest, it just depends on like now or like pre baby. You can when, do pre baby if it's easier. Like, Stoss. I could just see you choosing like, <laughs> take my way downtown, fucking the rest in the downtown. <laughs> do, 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 if I could fall. And you like you and like Kate, you and Katie or like a little Alex would be all toasty arm in arm. It's like when drunk guys to get together and they're like, sing us a song, the piano man, sing us a song tonight. And they all think like they're, they're buddy, buddy up. You'd probably just do something like from white chicks or something. I don't really like that answer. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. But all you right. don't have one. I don't know. Of course I don't have one. I don't karaoke. Okay. Did we ever talk about that video that um during Katie's uh Katie's Christmas party that was like you told me Lo was on Reddit? People were like, Of course, Stassi's such a bitch. I mean, everybody noticed your uncomfortableness in that video. We Wait, never talked happened? about it. Remember how Kate you know, Katie has her annual like Christmas party and this time uh-huh. she did it just girls only, remember? Back oh yeah. Oh, at her new spot. At her new spot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And her mom posted this fucking video of like everyone was like, we had been taking a group photo. Uh-huh. Like we were taking a group photo. And then all of a sudden, people, everyone started breaking out into like so- song. Like oh, everyone was. It was your song. Was it all that? I want for Christmas is you. Oh, was it? Yes. Okay. So it's my favorite song in the whole world. Everyone started <laughs> singing it. But I feel deeply deeply fucking uncomfortable in like sing-alongs with people like i just I, it makes except when you're on tour yeah oh no That's, i still do oh, you guys really? make me do it oh, i literally we make when, you when I, we, we were I, um no stassi we cannot make you do anything that you don't want to do no i was I outvoted do. you taylor and i voted and she lost you guys all voted i said i don't want to do one and oh. you you guys literally all voted against me oh, was a long yeah, time we're ago. Doing it. so these are not it's not my idea I, I i feel uncomfortable that i feel a little more comfortable with because it's like more of like a setup i guess but like it's still weird but like when the like, groups of people are like singing around making eye contact with each other like i feel so fucking uncomfortable i love it i love it no i i think you're you're monster if you if you find comfort in if that if i could fall i hate it and so everyone started singing this song and me and christina kelly cuz christina kelly feels the same way we like looked at each other and we just were like smiling like well, what do we do like we don't want to be like bitches but like we i'm not gonna join into the singing and like i see that i'm being filmed so i literally like i me and christina kind of like get up and like walk off but katie's mom posted this she posted this so it looked like i was a fucking asshole and lo said that there was a reddit where people were like see she's still a fucking asshole like stick up her ass can't have fun can't relax I'm like well you, fu- you know i don't like this shit it makes me feel uh. weird Oh my God. Well, from someone who loves like musical theater and musicals, you think you would. You're just like, because you're, it's you're a, a controlled, curmudgeon. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a controlled thing that you've planned for. It's, it's like a professional thing. It's not just like, oh, we're feeling the music together. Like, like just randomly at a party. Excuses. It, I don't like it. It's like when somebody plays a song for me and they want to watch me listen to it for the first time and see my reaction i'm like get the fuck out or of here watch a movie and they just stare at you yeah <laughs> to see your reaction i don't yeah i hate it's stressing me out yeah already <laughs> are you sweating is your makeup Thinking running about it no because i'm wearing estee lauder <laughs> long wear foundation double wear foundation that shit doesn't run i wish i had it for the wedding <gasps> speaking of the wedding Another thing that's just adding to the chaos, you guys. So, all right. Besides the fact that we have this whole closet thing, there's a baby coming. So, like, there's a lot of hormones and shit going on. And then I'm trying to plan for this tour, which is it's a little difficult because it's like we have to make sure that everything's okay with Hartford here. Like my mom's going to watch her here and make sure we have Sonia while my mom's here and everything's worked out while we're out of town. It's just like a lot going on right now. So, like, life just feels very chaotic. But on top of that, so I know if you've been following the good, the bad, the baby, if you've been listening for a while, we talked about how we got the wedding footage from our wedding, the footage for our wedding. And like the, 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 we got the terabytes upon terabytes upon terabytes of clips. Yes. Unedited. And so we were like, what do we do with all of this? Because what the wedding videographer gave us was like a, a three to four minute video that was just like, not. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. It wasn't. And it wasn't what like the what magic we experienced. 
in our wedding, it yeah. was like, what is this? Yeah, like he shot it beautifully, but he just put together something that wasn't our personality. And it just it's not the way we remembered our wedding. And so we got all of the footage and like it's not even color corrected. So like we're starting with like raw shit. So we were like, what do we do? Do we edit this ourselves? Do we hire someone? Do we put together something that's like really long because we want to put it on Patreon for everyone who's been a part of this journey to see how long do we make it? Do we include all of our vows? Like there's been so much gone into going into it. And so finally I was like, "You, all right, we need to do, if we don't do something with this wedding footage now, we're like never going to. So we have to get it done by our first anniversary. So y'all, we hired one of the editors from Vanderpump Rules to edit our wedding footage to make us like a 45 minute episode. And are we going to do talking heads wedding. in between? We're not doing <laughs> talking heads. And so once that's done, we'll put it on Patreon. But like, it's been so chaotic going through this. We like, there's I mean, just. I been, feel like we should do talking heads because it's like I could sit there and dress like in a hot pink suit, you know, do my hair, shave, and just have a funny. cocktail glass. And then while something's going on, I'll be like, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Why is there this cake video oh, there? Hey, where's the fish? No, no talking heads in our glorious where's wedding video. Fish? Where's the oh fuck? We talk about the missing fish. <laughs> anyway, so we have some major issues with this wedding video right now. And like, this is what, this has also been taking up some of the chaos. Our wedding videographer did not get a shot of me walking down the aisle. Yeah, let that sink in. We just realized that after going through terabytes of terabytes, we were like, wait. The one shot that a bride wants of herself at her wedding is walking down in her wedding dress. The aisle is walking down the aisle and looking at her, the groom, looking at her future husband. Like, I wanted to know what did I look like looking at Bo? What did I look like in my gown? What were your thoughts? Carrying in your my eyes? bouquet. What was I thinking? What was what facial expression was I making? Like, what did I look like when I was walking down the aisle looking and at you? Bo? Had it wasn't like a short aisle. That was a fucking yeah. Runway. There was time so, for someone to catch that. And um, yeah, that sucks. We found right? out that there's 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 a shot from the back. Yeah, and because, a shot from the side because because they got you. Yeah, they got me. Which I'm very Which, well, no, no, I'm so glad no. that they did because you all you know, everyone it's always wants, about it's always about the bride. Yes, it is because of the dress and the yes, but like it is so awesome to see like the groom's expression too. Like that's really cool. But like my outfit walking down the aisle, like I'm hopefully only gonna walk down the fucking aisle once in my life. And like I don't have a shot of that. Like, how crazy is that? We also forgot to add our first dance. So like Lo had to go email him and be like, yo, dude, you don't have a shot of her walking down the aisle or her first dance. He's like, I found the first, say that in Italian accent. I found the first dance. Ah, ah okay. I found the, the first dance. Uh, sent, sent that over, but here. just say, and then say like, oh, but no shot of the. the uh, but, um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no, no shot from your front. Uh. <laughs> the, of, um, uh, uh, when you uh, walk in like what Mi dispiace. and you know what's so funny is that like I remember catching this the first time around like when he give, gave us the like four minute video the one we watched where we were like this isn't really like it's shot beautifully but it's the th the video that was put together isn't our personality I remember being like wait I'm not even walking down the aisle in this video wait Hartford's not even walking down the aisle in this video but I was so concerned with, with the shot of Hartford yeah. that I forgot to even ask about me. Like, at least I have, okay, at least, let's it's, just be positive right now. <laughs> at least we have the footage of Hartford walking down the aisle. At least yes. we have that. And well, like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm very thankful still... for that. But like, I would really like to know what I looked like walking down the it's aisle. Almost like, <laughs> it's almost like you need to sit there before you fully get paid. <laughs> I just need to hear I know. The, the checklist. I need the checklist of everything. <laughs> and you know what else is so funny? Because then I thought, well, maybe we should ask somebody who was there. And then I'm like, no, we told people they're not no allowed phones. to film <laughs> anything during the ceremony. Like they could only use their phones after yeah. the ceremony. So nope. no one is going to know what I looked like walking down the aisle. Except bummer. The, the, your nice jawline. 
Except there's like a little. We just have to take the photos and make a flip book. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll take the photos and then we'll have AI create a video. Oh, we could do that. <laughs> the future is now. We could try. We could try. But yeah, so we're putting together this video for us and for you guys and hired someone like, on Vanderpump Rules. I know they're they're busy right now. <laughs> Um, Just a bit. Over at Vanderpump Rules, there's lots going actually on. actually had extra editors in here to like scour no, old shit. Lo and me were scared that because of Scandaval, that he was going to be like, oh, yeah, well, hey, I can't actually do this right now. Like there's a lot more work that I have. So like, I don't know if I'll have time. We hadn't put the deposit down yet yeah. when Scandaval happened and I was just waiting for him to back out. Yeah. But luckily, no, he's still doing it. And I just think it's going to like, how sweet is that? That like we're gonna get a wedding video that like one of the Vanderpump Rules editors I put hope he's together the one for that us. Give you a good edit. <laughs> me too. I hope he's one of the ones that liked me. <laughs> Who knows? Could you imagine like if he's one of the editors? It's like I don't like Stassi, and like he just does all the moments where like my double chin. Or, like, <laughs> oh my god. No, but I'm really excited to see that. And like, hopefully it's worth, it's worth the wait. Cause like yeah. people had been messaging me on, on Patreon being like, are we ever going to see the wedding video? And I'm like, do people even care at this point? But I care. Cause I, I care. See it. I, I want to like, see it. We should, you know, it should be at least an hour and a half long um, <laughs> with slow motion. Some, you know, additives in there of sweeping Roman. No. Oh, I think I we're aiming for 45. Yeah. yeah. I love thinking about our wedding. It was so fun. It wasn't even a year ago, and it feels like it was a or two years ago. I really, I feel like it was yesterday. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> it really does. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. Chaos. Chaos. Oh, and um, since Stasi skipped over me, um, it is a lot of fun to go to a karaoke place and do like a children's song <laughs> and record yourself singing. <laughs> singing a fun song that you can replay for your daughter the next day. And that was just such a magical moment that I'm so happy that the place wasn't that packed. But when I was singing it, people really had fun. Well, tell them what song you sang. It's on my Instagram. Oh, I know it was. It was just a story. Yeah. It was In Summer by Joss Scad, who plays Olaf in Frozen. I told you to make that a static post and you chickened out. Because my voice does not sound like an angel. It does not sound like Olaf. It's, it is, it is only needs to be seen for 15 seconds and that's it. It should not be replayed. I thought it sounded great too. And I'm a tough critic. Yeah. I'm a tough critic of myself. I'm a curmudgeon of myself and my voice. Well, when you showed Hartford, the video the next day, she was grinning from ear to ear the whole entire time. It. I didn't think she was going to be smiling that much. It was like when we showed her the owls. The owls, I know. I know. Even today, Bo found this like really cute owl cardigan for uh, Hartford. So I went and got it online. And I was like, Hartford, do you want to look at what we got you? And she looks at the phone and just another shit eating grin. Just It's like we just <sighs> stuck out like a whole thing of ice cream and you're like, all yours. Yeah. She freaking loves owls, you guys. Anyway, but yeah. All right. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye, Zs. <laughs>